All right, and we are live. Nice. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. We are Chaotic Good. We're playing Fifth Edition Dungeons and Dragons now, and we are on uh, episode number two. We're going to be playing Princes of the Apocalypse from start to end. And I am uh, Nizul, the Dungeon Master, and with us we have Von Stodd, Sarah Kale, Ivandar, and the mighty Brax. That would be as me. The players. So, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and uh, continue where we uh, left off. So, here we go. So, welcome, welcome. So, the adventure, uh, like, uh, just a little quick review. Uh, you're in the Dasarin Valley when the party came into Red Larch, which is the little village there. And each of you are part of different factions and met up with your contacts and kind of got these, like, side quests. And the, the aim of the whole adventure is to uh, find this missing delegation. And so each of you all have a reason of your own because of the factions you're with to uh, find what's going on with this missing delegation. So you all kind of got your own little side quest. But in the town, you learn from the, uh, the, the proprietor of the tavern that the, she, she got reports of where this source of evil was coming from that was causing a lot of ruckus in the area. And the town kind of scrounged together and got a nice, decent little reward piled together and is willing to pay you some really good coin if you're able to go and, first of all, find out what's going on, and secondly, eradicate it. So you ended up over here at Larch Rock, and we're heading into this little wooden area. And Sarah Kale sent um, her pet Tobin, a little pet crow, um, over to a uh, scout ahead. The mighty Tobin! <laughs> the mightiest of all birds. <laughs> yes, there he is. <laughs> and uh, Tobin um, uses Sarah Kale's eyes and was able to spot hiding in the bushes, you can see some bandits. They're, uh, they're kind of camouflaged and they're hiding in the bushes. And they saw the bird and one of them took a shot at it and that started initiative. So we've all made initiative rolls. Uh, can everyone see the turn order okay? I can. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I'm just letting you know that our fans that are watching us are already calling for a TPK. So oh, not don't really. listen yeah, to them. them. But before we roll our first dice, there's something that we do at Chaotic Good here. Everyone, gentlemen, to victory! To victory! To victory! All right. So, right before this um, whole thing kicks off, though, I need to do one quick thing. I'm going to just do a, roll a little four-sided die, which I oh no, which is a little no, uh, not that. Oh yes. Now watch. Here's a cool feature. I never knew that roll twenty had. You see that? Yeah. Could you guys see that? Yep. Nice. Yep. yep. That's pretty sweet. I'll just put that right over here. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's not pretty handy, huh? <laughs> All right. So that's just a little, little, to death. Just a little number that just sits there that I just pay attention to every round. Because if you guys dilly dally around, maybe something will occur. Maybe nothing will occur. We don't know. Well, the uh, <laughs> the combat gets off. But, um, right before everyone like draws steel and charges in, of course, these uh, two bandits that are in the front bushes here. You can see them in there. They they talk, and one of them's like, oh, 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 we don't talk and do new deals with with birds and all. So you you all need to be going away. And you can like see the book shake as he's talking and then like leaves flitter off of it and stuff and then a bullet right in the south there was another bush it's like yeah piss off get out of here he doesn't want you here anyway all right Idenar, you have the highest initiative with a big massive nine what do you do all right so we are back over here let's see here we're gonna move forward All right. And um, so you can see right in front of you, there's a big, you know, you can on the map, you can see there's a big pile of sticks. It would be about shoulder high. So we got some cover. You got a little bit of cover. That's right. And uh, I can see the, the bandit right ahead of me. Yes, you can. They're in the bushes. So they, they got a little like soft cover, I would say. Not enough to quite give you any type of disadvantage. Uh, gotcha. But yeah, they're, they're, they're in the bushes hidden pretty well. But you can spot them. Because they look talked and gave away their position. <laughs> I, I can see him and he can see me, and I, I look at him and, and kind of sneer. It's like a bird, a bird. You're going after a bird. Hey, you must up. be the worst bandits in the world. No, Does your not. mother know that you're out here stealing from people? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be right. stealing from your dead body. You don't yeah, shut so up. That was a little vicious mockery. <laughs> nice. <Tantrip. laughs> All 
right? And that is so three points of uh, psychic damage because no a, a good really? dog lasts forever. Wow, that actually hurts him. <laughs> All right, well, I get a saving throw, it looks like, so I'm definitely going to be taking it. And it looks like I'm going to be able to make a wisdom save on this, so here I go. An eight. Oh, yeah, dude, that, that cut him cut him to the bone. Shut up. I don't like birds. <laughs> he wipes it. He wipes it. <laughs> There's more from where that came from, bandit. That's funny. So funny. I can't believe he did actual damage, too. That's right. He, yeah, exactly. Like, what it was, though, is he actually slipped and fell out of the bush because he was so mad and frustrated, and he ended up cutting himself on a branch. <laughs> you dumb. Uh, we do not see their health. Uh, okay, thank you. Let me. I thought I changed that in the thing, but let's go ahead and I think. Oh, here we go. All right. Tell me if you can see that bandit's health. Oh yeah, now. that's right, that's cool. a good chunk of health there. That's a good chunk of health. All right, cool. I'll do it on the other ones too. So, is that your actions, Ivan Dar? Anything else you're doing in this turn? Uh, other than pointing and sneering, no. Okay, good deal. We'll have drawn the bow while we were moving. By the way. All right, so. very good. Uh, let's move the initiative over to Brax. Brax, you're <laughs> up with a seven. And Brax yells out, you hurt bony bird. <laughs> and he runs <laughs> and fires his ballista at this bandit. Whoa, you see this huge ballista comes up. Just... <laughs> All right, let it rip. Oh, my God, I saw that 20, but an 18 just, just center punches him right in the midsection. <laughs> and to, to roll damage, I just hit it in the... Yeah, you just click that word ballista right there. Oh, did you see the bandit literally go 20 feet back? <laughs> <laughs> his feet quiver and kick for a little bit. And then he lets out his last breath. <laughs> With what lungs? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Sarah Kale and the uh, little cute little Tobin, you're up. All right. I'm going to talk to Tobin again and go, <laughs> you idiots, you just got chided by our bard. <laughs> Tobin, come back to mommy. It totally reminds me of the tiki I... room in Disneyland, the birds talking. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> the tiki room. So you got this little skeletal bird <laughs> laughing as it returns back to Sarah Kale. And I got her on my, got him on my shoulder, and we're just hugging and kissing each other. Oh, oh, beautiful, so Tobin. So nice. You were so good. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And you have no action, Sarah Kale, for yourself. No. Okay. And then we move over. All right. Well, hey, that's really not nice. And he pulls out a crossbow and aims it at Ivandar and fires. Here we go. Now you have cover, so I'm going to go ahead and move this over and give him disadvantage on this check for your cover. And here he goes. Ooh, my first disadvantage. Yes. So oh, that didn't work out very uh, the well. The worst of the rolls is a 16 against armor class. Um, 16 armor class is 18. 18. So it goes winging right by you. Kind of hits you in the hat and like takes a little piece of fabric off of it. Ooh, he hit his hat. Boom, and uh, I point and laugh again. <laughs> worst <laughs> bandits ever. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this man in here comes from behind the rocks there and rushes forward, and he he looks to be brave. He he actually doesn't hasn't really said anything, and he doesn't say anything. He just comes up. He just has a real stern look, and he just goes one, two, three, four up to there and uh, brings out a scimitar. And Von Stad, it is your action. Well, as I am suffering for some less than fresh rations from the previous evening, I'm going to. Quietly saunter up to about there. Lean right. over Brax's shoulder, or lean under Brax's shoulder. Look at the nearest bandit. <laughs> <laughs> and then go right behind Brax. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Okay. So we're going to move on to round two. So what I'm going to do real quick here is take that little three. Watch this. That oh, cool? that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. All right. Wow, that Top of round two, you're up. All right. So as um, my movement action, I'm going to reach into a little bag that Ivandar has at his side and retrieve a little fuzzy ball. And we're going to pitch it forward 20 feet to this spot here. Okay. And we are going to... 
tangle foot man. <laughs> Uh, hand grenade, frag grenade. <laughs> He's making a roll. Uh oh, something's uh -oh. coming. Hang on. It's close. You want to do it? Uh, you want to do forward slash roll one d eight. And he's or you can just open up the the uh, the die roller. Oh, there it is, eight. die roller. That's right. Thank you, die eight. There we go. Got and. A two. Out of this ball comes a giant rat. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that bag of tricks, bandits? You have a bag of rat? <laughs> I have, no, I have a bag of tricks. Oh, so it's random. Day, oh, that's, yep, it's a die eight, cool. and this little fuzzy ball turned into a giant rat. Wow, that's really cool. So here, let me put him on the board. There you go. <laughs> wow. Pass it here. Pass it here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give him control to you here. So controlled by Ivandar. All right, you should be able to move that little dude around. All right, so he is going to step forward. Like, you're not even worth my time, Bandit. I'm sending the rats after you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, of course, so now this one over here who fell and got scratched has a rat right next to him, and he's all, ooh! <laughs> birds and rats! <laughs> I don't think right, you should so. be doing that. All right, so the rat is going to bite. He's okay. going to. Uh, this is this is going to be a plus four since I can't. Uh, so fourteen. Fourteen against armor class on the bandit. Yep. Is a hit. There he All goes. Right. Yeah, the rat is able to sink its teeth right through the leather armor. <laughs> he's, bite, he's biting his ankles. And yeah, biting his ankles right through his boot. Three points of damage. Three points of damage to the bandit. My gosh. All right. Wow. And then uh, for my action, I'm going to go ahead and use my bow. Okay. Uh, short bow and take a shot at that same bandit. Okay. Draw the short bow out. Yeah. <laughs> and shoot the laughing arrow. Nice. A 12 hit. <laughs> <laughs> Just graze his shoulder. Wow. A little blood comes out. Seven points. Seven points. And he spins around and does a twirl. And then just into the bushes. <laughs> How embarrassing. Killed by a rat in a short bow. <laughs> I look at the other ba uh, band and I'm that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, you are welcome to surrender. Forth. He looks behind him and sees uh, that both of his uh, compadres are now on their backs and bellies dead. So, yeah, uh, yeah we'll keep going here. Brax, you're up. Yep. Bird bully die, and I can actually hit him from right here with reach, correct? Yes, exactly. So you can okay. Out, right about waist level, you have those logs all laying across, so you're just able to reach over, wham, with your... Slamming with the great axe. Nice. A 14 Ooh. hit! He tries to get out of the way, crosses his arms. Oh! Yeah, like that'll do it. Oh! And are you raging? No, I am not. Okay, so you did 12 points of damage, and you split him right down the middle. <laughs> oh. All right. And it's weak. All right. Wow. So the initiative doesn't end, though, mysteriously. Um, so apparently there's still well. more going no. on. Anything else you when have, When we Brax? wipe them all out, we, we get to take away that, too, because we wiped them all out. Brax, anything else you want to do? Uh, I will continue to move forward. Okay. So you 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 do you want to use a, to get over those logs? I would normally ask for an athletics check or some kind of acrobatics check. But for you, if you want, you can just do a straight. You can do a strength check. Okay. Um, but actually, I think athletics is tied to strength. If I'm right, so just make an athletics mm -hmm. check. Uh, athletics. Yes. Hold on here. There it is. Yes, yeah, so you just blast right through the logs. <laughs> they go don't, right through. Oh, good. Yeah, so the logs go flying. They don't impede your movement them. at all. <laughs> and you move to there. Yes. All right. So go ahead and give me a perception check, Brax. I, I do have this thing called Danger Sense as well, Dave. Oh. Can, uh, Would you like to read it? Uh, well, I, well, just give me a rundown of what it means or what it does. That's all I uh, Danger Sense. Uh, you have the advantage on dexterity saving throws against uh, effects that you can you can see, such as traps and spells. To gain this benefit, you can't be blinded, defended, or in, uh, incapacitated. Okay. 
So, it's so like, I have this uncanny knack of knowing something bad's going to happen. Yeah, but I don't think it, it's not like spider senses where you can... No, 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 no. You're going to no. be pre-warned. So if something does happen, it looks like it's going to give you a bonus to the check. Spider right. Brax. Sounds good. Well, hey, do me a favor right. and uh, Brax, and uh, roll perception for me. Uh, perception, too. Geez. Yeah. I don't, know how perce- yeah, I don't have uh, perception. Oh, it was a t- I saw a 20. Oh, cool. That's no big deal. All right, let's move on. Sarah Kale. All righty. I will launch Tobin again to get up there and take a look around, see if my pretty bird perceives any more bandits hiding in the, uh, than their bushes. Nice. Right, so what you end up, you see this this vulture looking crow that's mangled, <laughs> do like a chicken hop, <laughs> and it climbs over the log, <laughs> flaps its wing, <laughs> and gets all the way over to there. And go ahead and give me a perception check, and let's see what you see. All righty. Oh my gosh, I can see. I see Nerdy and Josh. What's up, guys? I can see you. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Yo. All right. You take tw- 20s on, too. Did you make a perception check yet? I'm just... Yeah, I'm I did, working on I didn't on say it. take your time making a perception check. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Only this stuff was alphabetical. Ooh. That would help. help. <laughs> okay, so from where your vantage point is, uh, Tobin's looking between Brax's big hairy legs. And mm-hmm. right through there, you can Ew. see over in this area right here, um, the bushes over there look makeshift. Mm. Okay. And okay. Sarah Kale, continue with your turn. I will. Uh, yeah, so I will start hobbling on upwards, uh, yelling out to the big boy, <laughs> Brax boy! To the right. Oh. Something's off over there. So just be careful or smash it. One of the two. Smash. <laughs> yeah. So perhaps with that uh, being that being directed to it, you can clearly see that those bushes in front of you look to be, you know, makeshift, like they're covering up maybe something. And, ah. uh, they're not they don't they don't look natural. All right, so, and then Sarah Kale, of course, hobbles up. Now we all know Sarah Kale. I will hobble up there, but I'm gonna undo my broom to <laughs> oh, very good. All right, broom is undone while you move. All right. Then everyone together hears a, a familiar sound. You've heard it before. Every time Brax uses his ballista, it has that, that defined, that definite sound of like a big machinery. And out of that makeshift uh, bushes that you see there, a ballista bolt goes flying straight <laughs> at Brax. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not fair. Oh, wow. now, You've got to be really unperceptive to miss the ballista. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. well, it's behind the bushes, apparently, or something. Who knows? But a ballista bolt just like goes barren right through. So the, the, the leaves scatter, and the little makeshift area kind of disintegrates as this ballista bolt comes out of it. Um, the, they're not able, they're using, they're rolling on disadvantage on this, but I'm just going to roll for the light crossbow because it's the exact same hit odds here. And with disadvantage, you have to take the six. So Brax flying right by you in slow mo, like whoa! It's you know, and it's long too because it's a big old ballista bolt, like a telephone pole. <laughs> it impales into a tree right behind you, and you turn and you look, and you can see that the uh, the bushes were blown to bitsy bits. And let me go ahead and uh, reveal some more fun. How about that, real quick here? And so then, you can look. And, oh! Uh, yes, and you can see there's a ballista down there and two more bandits. And they, and they look and one of them hits the other one. You idiot! <laughs> <laughs> I told you that the aim! <laughs> the other one's all, shut up! <laughs> all right. And let's continue. Von Stott at the end of the, the initiative. What are you doing? Well, such activities such as traversing over fallen logs is not very good for the digestion, and seeing that mine is quite insulted at this time, I am going to further saunter forward. All right. And as you saunter forward, Von Stad, um, everyone in the party hears uh, a noise. It sounds like a growl. Yeah. <laughs> 
It, it sounds like an animal growl. Does anyone who has any type of uh, skill in nature can make a check. Yep. And see if they recognize okay. it. Okay. Only if you. I'm only allowed the roll if you are proficient in the skill. I do. Nature. Okay. Uh, What's yeah. Nature. nature. With an eleven, you recognize the sound as either being a, a bear. Yeah, you're feeling a bear. Oh, a bear! <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dave, you want to pull the uh, dead bandits off? They, or... Would you like me to? Are they? Or I could just be there. Oh, okay. no, I think they look there? good. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hold on a sec here. <laughs> I'll send them to oblivion. Poof! All right, there you go. You can have that space now. Luckily, yeah. they dropped all their loot before. They yeah, exactly. Shing! <laughs> and their XPs. <laughs> all of you feel little XP numbers. <laughs> <laughs> bling, 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 bling. <laughs> All right, Monsad, anything else you're going to be doing there? Smiling. You're smiling, okay. Uh, Nerdy said that he misses Sharky and he thinks that I yeah, does he's too. He's being cautious because he's just literally <laughs> hiding behind, you know, big giant bracks and he only comes up to about his waist anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> making sure everything's safe. Right between his loincloth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so our <laughs> meta dice reduces by one now, and uh, we go to the top of the round. Ivandar, what would you like to do? Yeah. So, Sarah Kell, how many people will that broom carry? No, oh, I'm tiny. You can get on too, tiny little man that makes weird sounds out of instruments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know what? We're just going to move. Okay. We're going to acrobatics over this thing. Sure, go ahead and make an <laughs> acrobatics check. 14, you clear it. So you go, boink, yeah. boink, bounce. So yeah, you just bounce off one. You just like to do the one to the other, like the, the ninja warrior stuff. Boing, boing, back and forth <laughs> over different logs and just choo, 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 and avoid all this the slippery moss that's on these logs as well. Yep. And um, this spot right here, mm -hmm. how tall is that rock? Is that completely covering me, or? Uh, oh, so you're, yeah, you, exactly. Those rocks are probably about 15 feet tall, I would say. Okay. And from so. your vantage point, you can actually see a little further into the camp. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal some more area as well. I'm going to go to here. Yeah. So let me just go ahead and reveal this, too. Yeah. Well, now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you, say, do, you tell, do you tell a party what's ahead? Oh, yeah. I look back. I look back at them. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night tonight. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Oh, and, uh, Anything else, Ivan Dar? Yeah, Ratty's gonna come down over here. Okay. Yeah, you can do rat. Rat. <laughs> Ralph the Rat. Ratty. <laughs> oh, and I look at I look over at Brax and I say, Brax, you're the man. You're the ogre I man. Know. I want you to feel inspired. <laughs> I want you to do good. And I want you to kick that ass. I'm giving him some bardic inspiration. Oh, awesome. What does that do? That means in the next 10 hours, you get to roll um, a, I believe it's a six-sided, and add that number to any roll. And I think wow. it, and it, work, it works once, though. So It yeah. works once. Right, so when you want to get a bonus die six, and I believe you can make the roll first and then add the die six later. Okay. Yeah, uh, you can roll, I believe it, I'll have to double check, but I believe you can roll... You know, if you roll a 20 side and you're not sure if you're going to hit, you can add the six before the GM says hit or miss. Right. But not after. Does that make sense? Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Very and nice. that's ability checks, saving throws, <laughs> attacks, all that. Nice. And so, gotcha. And you, sorry, 10 minutes. We have You have it for 10 minutes, not 10 gotcha. hours. So when Ivan Dar says you're the man, you're the man. I am and the man. 10 minutes, you are. <laughs> walking a little taller. <laughs> all right. Anything else, Ivan Dar, in your turn? I am good. Okay. That was bonus action. Nice. All right. Uh, then we move on to Brax. Brax, you shoot at Brax, <laughs> and he go immediately rages, <laughs> and he just storms down here. All right. Now you and go ahead. again, swings his axe. Oh, yes, and you have them both in range. And actually, real quick, though, before you swing that mighty axe of yours, you're actually caught off guard because you look at that ballista, and you're like, Damn, that's a nice looking ballista. I'm just saying, it's uh, it, it's built really well. It's got a lot of like um, a lot of chrome and like or I would say brass on it. Um, and it, oh, it, yeah, it looks like better ballista. <laughs> <laughs> he made me a grilled cheese sandwich yesterday. So I got it on. <laughs> 
and it was an amazing grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> and it can be easily bought. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. And I hit this guy right here. All right, sounds good. Go ahead and roll your damage. All right, click the huge great axe uh, link there. And plus the rage is enough to take him out. He goes flying, wham, splatters against the wall. It's the blood expires. <laughs> yeah, and he just goes and just goats down. There's like a, a little stain outline <laughs> of which once was a human bandit. <laughs> All right. Anything else there, Brax? Not until I can get my hands on that other ballista. <laughs> All right. Uh, this uh, bandit over here has the uh, ballista bolts behind him, too, and he looks like he's going to go ahead, and he's got one in his hand because he looks like he was going to try to do a reload, and he looks up and just sees your massive size and stature, and he just drops it. Kang! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah Kale. You... Sarah... All right. Sarah Kale, you are up. You and Tobin. All right. Uh, you know that the bear and the uh, bandits aren't on the turn order, right? Uh, it's okay. I have them because okay. I sent the bandit that was attached to it into the GM layer, but I have it on mine, so we're fine. All righty. Uh, Pretty Tobin's going to do his chicken hawk. Nice. Have that a little sucker moves fast. That, that is a fast ass bird, man. Yeah, that's like super chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Just not as big. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And what about you? All right. As I get out the broom, I'm kind of dusting it off. I'm waxing up part of the uh, the handle there, and then I do the witch thing. I jump on it. It's a Christiare. <laughs> and I don't have to do that acrobatics thing because I just kind of fly right over it. Nice. Yes. Nice. I am the stereotypical witch on a broom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These are five feet, right? Yes. Okay. So that's about as far as I can go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, ain't no Harry Potter broom, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> this ain't Quidditch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you're sitting there hovering on a broom. What? <laughs> You definitely don't look like Bewitched. And used to scare the kitties during Halloween. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Okay, well, the uh, the bandit down here that was holding on to that bolt drops it, and all three of the bandits that are remaining in camp draw steel. Scimitars come out, and they go ahead and go for the attack. So he slides up one here and swings his scimitar at Brax. Bro. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, hang on a second. I need to re-roll that because I have it toggled on disadvantage. This is a normal check. <laughs> Ignore oh, that. Here comes, here comes the real roll. Okay, so 14 versus your armor class, Brax. Uh, you know, I think because since I updated, my armor class is a 14. Oh, somehow. It actually it makes contact with you, but your your hide is so thick because you're your your spirit of the bear, you know, is now you're like you've gone down this path of the bear. Makes your your hide very thick, and ends up just like ricocheting right off of it. Uh, but I'm gonna make a quick check here because this bandit's gonna try to leap up and climb upon the rock that's there, which would put him eye to eye with you if he can make a dexterity check. An eleven. Missed by one. <laughs> oh. He goes sliding back down and nearly lands in the fire and doesn't get its attack off. But the other bandit moves up to here and also swings a scimitar at you. Takes it out. And rolls a 16. And I brack 16. That is a hit. Oh, gosh, that hit home right that there. Hit home. Well, that one bit in and did three points of damage to your slash. And drew a little blood. All right. And Von Stad. You see the combat in front of you there. Your your sword has not drank blood in a while. Well, apparently there are less than skillful attempts at obfuscative um, techniques were apparently meant for diversionary purposes, although not quite as effective as I'm sure they were planning. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken as Von Stott truly does. <laughs> and I, I guess if you can't kill him with steel, you're going to confuse him with BS. <laughs> exactly. he, he should be I'll, three points of damage. I'll take a jog up here, knowing that I cannot get past this sack of meat. <laughs> That's in front of you. <laughs> and I'll, I'll hold arms, lean against the, the boulder. Nice. And, 
Nice, nice. Bye, bye, time. Okay, so you're you're being patient here. All right, and give me one second, everyone. I'm just uh, flipping on these uh, these health bars here. All right. Yeah, all right. I mean, well, the death bars. The round. So now, if everyone uh, will draw their attention to this big magic four sided, that one now expires. So let me just go ahead and do uh -oh. that. That's and what never ends up good either. Yeah. The roaring in this bear cage over here is getting louder and louder, and the bears boom, boom. Suddenly, he breaks out of the front door, stands on his two legs. And the bear escapes. And yes, give me one sec here. I'm going to add him to the initiative order. Give me a sec. I have to look him up, though. Luckily, there's two bandits between him and us. Yes, exactly. And who knows? Maybe we'll lead the bandits. But they had a. They had there's a, uh, like bandits. Yep. All right. There Brax you. likes bears. <laughs> so. Get you a new pet, Brax. Nice. Oh. Got I it. shall hug him and kiss Good. him and call him George. All right, so I got him here <laughs> and allowed me to add him to the initiative here. Ooh, oh, that's bear. I'm going to go ahead and resort. Let me. Uh, I'm going to actually add this guy to the initiative as well. I'm going to add to turn. Dump him. Sorry, guys. And it's all right. he was a four. That way, we have you guys can see when the bandits go. And here comes the new initiative order here, now that the bear has joined the fray. All right. So, we kick the turn off with the bear. And he goes right for the bandit. And just tackles him. And, and they're just, getting, just mangling each other there. And he consumes one bandit. Roar, kills it dead and then looks up and sees Brax and two other bandits. I don't know which one he looks he's looking at in particular though. Ivandar, your action. I look at that bear, I said, Bear, that was my XP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna move up to here. Actually we're gonna move to there. Can I fit in that spot right there? Which one? Ping it. Right. Yes, you can. Okay. There. And we are going to... Um, I can't get past them all the way Brax past Brax is a good meat shield, huh, Clay? Yeah. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> um, since I can't move one forward, we're going to have to go ahead and use the bow. And we're going to use the bow on this guy here. Okay. So the closest bandit to you is 10 feet away. Yep. You kind of got to like, ah. maneuver around Brax to get your shot. But you got enough of an angle where it doesn't cause you any type of disadvantage. So make a normal check. Okay. And a 17 just lands it straight into his chest. What the hell? Yeah, it's a 9 piercing. So what I'm going to do here is this. Let me put this to back. And. So nine points. I think that sinks into him all the way down to the uh, the feathers of the shaft, and almost makes him fall back five feet. It hit him so hard. It was kind of like in Lord of the Rings when he's firing those big black arrows into uh, into uh, Boromir. 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 Oh, yeah, exactly. Yep. All right, still now, alive though. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you can see the health bar on these two here. And boom, boom. Okay, cool. So you can see he took a big hit. Bam. Ooh. Anything else? Uh, yes. We're going to uh, call Reginald the Rat down. Reginald the Rat. Uh, Reginald gets inspiration. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Chopper, <laughs> sick balls. <laughs> All right. Well, he, because he is part of our pack and he is within five feet of me and Brack, he gets advantage on this roll. Wow, so I'm I, yep, I'm gonna have to roll this twice because I don't have actually an attack roll for him. So okay, that's fine. And we'll just pick the better of the two. There's one. Ooh, All right, yeah. and that is the second that one. Is. Definitely lands. So it's just All like right. a Monty Python with that bunny just flies <laughs> through the air. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny of death. <laughs> Four points of damage. Oh my gosh, he falls back. Bam! And the rat just. 
chewing out his eyeballs. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well done, Reginald. <laughs> that's, a, that's brilliant. Brax, you're up. Can I make an acrobatics check and jump over this bandit, or can I scoot around him? I'm kind of big. Yeah, you're, because the rock is in between you, um, and yes, you can try to go over the rock, you know, like, and get a move. Um, as long as you don't leave his uh, area that he threatens, there'll be no attack of opportunity. So, just, or, And the DC for this check is a 12. Okay. How about if I just... Uh, so he's still going to hold on to his axe in one hand. Can mm -hmm. I try and grab that bandit and throw him back to the bear? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be like a grapple check. So make a, yeah, just go ahead and make a standard attack roll. So would it be... Um, what I would say is make a strength check. Better way to Strength play. check. Yes. Okay. You got... Oh, yeah, you got him. So... <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, eat bear! <laughs> And throws him back to him. <laughs> Bear looks at you, looks down. <laughs> That's Brax making friends with the bear. Yep. All right. Nice. Anything else? Are you gonna move? Uh, I, actually, I will get out of everyone's way and just come down to here. Okay. Boom. Sarah Kale, you are up. How high is the ceiling in here? The ceiling, it's the sky. <laughs> you know, you're, oh, okay. Yeah, you're in a little woodland area that kind of turned into some rocky caverns, as uh, rock caverns, a little rocky, uh, what do you call it, outcropping here. And you can see they set up camp here. They got a little fire and their beds and stuff. All right. Well, little Tobin's going to squawk his way up. All right. And then when Toba gets up there, since you can see through his eyes, you can see over here at the very end is an entrance to a cave. Oh, very good. So then I'm going to take uh, my Harry Potter and float on up to here. Um, when I first move, though, I pick up a couple stones on the ground. Okay. And I'm holding them in my hand. Okay. Sounds good. Anything else? That's it. All right. Um, next to go is, uh, looks like the bandit. The bandit's all, ah! And he uh, runs, dashes into the cave, but that gives the bear an attack of opportunity. <laughs> so let's just see here. The, bear, the bear's going to go for a claw attack here. Jeez. And rolls a 20. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. And, oh, but rolls terrible on the damage roll. And does four oh, points. Look at all those ones. Damage. Yeah, so as he's going, you just see him grab his back and like, <laughs> and he goes jaunting in and runs into the cave, but taking four along the way. And then That's as he's amazing. running back to he turns back to you all, and he's all, the necromancer will not be happy about this. And he's running into the cave. And necromancers are never happy about anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and Von Stodd. Brackish yells out also, don't hurt bear! <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, hell's bells. I will give Von Stad a slight pat on the backside stand. Hey, Chaotic Anarchy's on. Oh, hey! What's up, kid? Good to see ya. Alright, so Von Stad, you move over there. I and do. from where you're at, you can see 20 feet deep into the cave, you can see the bandit making a getaway. Would you like to do anything this Actually, whole adventure? Uh, <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when, I, when I get to this point here and I see the bandit running, can I finish my action with the dash? I mean, can I just... Yeah, you, close, you want to just close in on him? Okay, great. Yeah, so you close in. Now, even though you're actually off the map by about 20 feet, no big deal, you're in the, the beginning of the cave. And you closed in on him. And he turns around. He's got his scimitar out. Now he has to face you. Ah! All I right. Anything else? Uh, I can't attack on a dash, correct? Uh, no. You just double moved, right? Yeah, so okay. that's fine. But you closed in on him. All right. Good deal. Well, the bear's up next. Um, is anyone going to um, have the ability to sue this animal? Or is he going to be attacking y'all? I would, I'm i trying to hold my charm person spell, hopefully, that is strong enough to calm him down a little bit, so Brad can pet him. All right. Does anyone want to try to make any type of skill check to sue them? Anything? 
uh, I don't have any kind of special skills other than the fact that I'm a goddamn good bard. <laughs> This is true. One <laughs> handsome one, too. That's right. You see that? That's right. All right, Brad, I, I, Brad can I, you do anything? Because this bear looks at you, and he's about to charge. But he's in a well, defensive he, stance. Uh, tuning into his uh, uh, sense of nature and the skills, uh, and since uh, bears are his totem animal, he kind of tries to calm the bear. He's like, bear, I give you food. Nice. I like mm -hmm. it. I like it. All right, cool. Um, go ahead, and let's uh, have you make a uh, charisma check. Ooh. Or unless you want to talk to him in, in the, the language of strength or whatever. Uh, well, I was thinking more in, t uh, uh, in tune with nature. That's okay. kind of why I said yeah. like a nature check. I'm totally down with that. Why don't you make that check? That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't see the roll. <laughs> uh, it starts with a one. <laughs> it doesn't end with a one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is, is this is a black bear, and you spoke the language of polar bear, and he kind of kind of friends you a little bit, you know, and he charges in. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm and he goes for a bite him, attack on you with a 13, and you're able to catch the bear oh, and hold its mouth as his teeth are like, caw, 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 snapping at you, and you're just holding this big bear at bay. And Ivandar, your action. All right, I you know I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna pull out the loot and just try to play something calming, maybe get that bear to, to calm down a little bit. I've seen your highness. I know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so we're we're gonna pied piper this guy. All right. All right. <clears throat> Pulls the pick out. <laughs> play little guitar hero. <laughs> A ten. So, yeah. yeah, it doesn't seem to be paying attention to any of the music that you're playing. So you're probably just playing something that doesn't really res it doesn't resonate with the poor bear. Gotcha. So we're going to be he, killing a bear. Apparently, our, bar our bard is as melodic as orc sack scraping on sandstone. Okay. I said something. All right, so we're gonna move right through Brax. We're gonna duck underneath Brax and move around to this side here. Okay, sounds good. All right, Sarah Kale. Oh, I'm sorry, Brax. You're All right, right. so no, those. Sorry, uh, Sarah Kale. Hold up, Sarah Kale. I skipped. Uh, I oh, skipped that's right. Brax. My bad. All right, so. Brax, I'm sorry. You're sitting there holding this big black bear at bay. Well, since Brax is already pissed off, he's like, I tried to be your friend, and he's just going to slam him to the ground. <laughs> so, All right, make a straight check. All right, all right hold on here. I'm, I'm having some problems with my uh, uh, character sheet. For some reason, it's not loading at all. So give me a second here. Okay. I might have to reconnect. I don't well, know. What you I'm can also do, if you want, just open up the dice roller and give me a die 20 roll. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll just do it manually. Gotcha. Okay. I, I got it up now, though, finally. <laughs> and it's not. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I rolled my ballista. I should have rolled my uh, strength. Yeah, it looks like you rolled your huge great axe, but that's good enough. Yeah. Right, there you go. So let's actually use the great axe roll. I can just reduce that by one. So you get a 21. So that does um, a, your, your hand to hand because you're large. I'm going to give you a die eight damage plus your strength. Okay. So let's go so here. Die eight, and then add your strength bonus into it. As you take this, this he's already got him like this, and you see Brax lift him up overhead and just bring it down. Boom! Right against the rocks. Oh man, this thing is glitchy. It's not. Oh. And then your strength bonus is plus four. Am I right? Uh, plus four. All right. So you do a eleven damage to this thing. You just really just throw, you could just hear the bones crack in his ribs as he just collides with these big stone rocks and it lets out a big growl and a howl almost of pain and you see it limp and it looks like it's going to try to get away so it actually kind of muscles forward and tries to get away from you okay and well, Sarah, Sarah Kale it is your go oh, actually Brax if you want to move you can move well I'm going to stay right here and I'm going to actually let the bear go okay Good enough. Well, then we can just move forward. It goes away. It runs off. Uh, it took enough damage. 
and you don't. It doesn't make you have to murder it in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Sarah Kale, you're up. That was a good blanket for you. <laughs> yeah, winter's coming. That would have been a nice cloak. <laughs> Man, yeah, Neil's true. dropping the uh, movie bombs yeah, tonight. I just want to say, Mister, oh. I don't kill bears. Uh, kind of has something on his shoulder called a bear skin. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! It's a beaver pelt. Yeah, that's it. That's it. it. All right. So, Sarah Kale, your action. We still have one bandit kicking. Okay. So, those two rocks that I grabbed, I pull out a couple of ruby gemstones and start crushing them up. Okay. (laughs) One, two, three, four, five. I'm, he's within 30 feet of me, so basically this is my charm person spell. Oh, so nice. I blow the uh, dust out his way. So it looks like like in the cartoons with the apple pie scent going across. Right. Yeah. Now, because <laughs> now, him no. running away, is he in combat? I'm, he is in combat. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then he gets advantage on this wisdom save. Okay, sounds good. And uh, what am I rolling against? His wisdom. Yeah, I know. I'm going to make a wisdom save against your spell DC. What would be your spell DC? I didn't say in the description. Um, You should have it on your character I was looking for a roll. Okay, uh, check on your character sheet. I'm just going to go ahead and make a couple rolls here. There's one, and there's two. So I got a 12, and I don't know if that's going to be high enough. So on your spell page on your character sheet, there should be DC Uh up the top right. This is the number I have to roll to resist your magic. It'll say, what's your spell casting ability? Oh, I got you. 14. 14, and I rolled a 12. <laughs> so the spell takes hold. And he's like, dream weaver. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! And he looks at Sarah Kale, and Sarah Kale got a lot hotter. <laughs> <laughs> and you can on, on Stop. Hey, stop. Turn it around. Now, Come back to us. Yes, you, you never traveled with Sarah Kale. And uh, uh, and you have um, not seen this occur before, so this is a first time for you. And uh, do you have any uh, skill in arcane or in divine or anything like that that would help mm-hmm. you identify his spell? So what you see then is just this real big transformation on his face, and his arms just go limp, and he just looks, and he's just looking at Sarah Kale at, with a big oversized grin on his face, like that. So it's up to you. I don't know if you you know it's your character. Just don't make <laughs> the game, but yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, gra- granted that you made the comment, you know, why don't I do something? Everything dies before I get to it, or it gets charmed, and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> Captain Useful. <laughs> oh, I, I look back at Sarah Kell. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can eat him later. I don't care. Nice. All right, cool. So you don't kill him. So I'm going to go ahead and end the turn order and bring Actually, us out I of gra- initiative. I here. grab him by the cloak mm-hmm. and physically toss him to there. Okay. You know, kind of like just not for damage. Boom, it's... yeah. You just kind of bring him over there and sit him down. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, he looks just like really dreamy-eyed. What's the duration on that spell, Sarah Kale? It is. I had it in my thoughts, then Whiskey called me, so oh, yeah, okay. I could look it up. What? One day. Say again? One, uh, wait, I'm gonna get the wrong one. <laughs> one hour, one hour, okay. So, yeah, all right, great. And he treats you as a friend for one hour, even though he looks nervously at Brax. If Brax even moves a muscle in a threatening manner, <laughs> he's probably gonna do something. Uh, but what, like I said, so the camp you can see a little small campfire there, beds, belongings, and you can also uh, see the uh, ballista still remains the real nice looking ballista. Yeah, Brax, Brax is rather Brax. enamored with that. Yes, and uh, does your little uh, pet run away, Ivandar? Um, he, let's see. He stays for quite a while. Okay, sounds good. All right, party, what do you, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It has an inscription on it. It says, thanks for the grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that easy to buy. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, you, you can look at it. And there's actually a few extra bolts over there, too. There's uh, four bolts. I, I will take all of that. Okay, add that to your character sheet and just put real nice ballista. And, uh, real nice ballista. Yeah, it's, uh, it, yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to head on over to the cave mouth and put it on in. Oh, okay, cool. Well, you go over to the cave mouth and uh, allow me to, to give you a little uh, sweet description. The cave mouth opens into the darkness from which a breeze blows, carrying the faint odor of death. Inside is a natural cave, its floor and ceiling uneven. The passage leads to the west, narrowing as it proceeds. So you can see up down into a cave, it gets darker as it goes. But uh, give me a perception check. And I do hit dark. Okay, so you can see 60 feet into that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Nice, nice. Hey, guys. Roll it again. Guys, guys, there's a very, very small root growing at the far end of the cave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, yes, but where's... It's better than your art ball comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that 20, I'm going to try to just give you this here. Give me a sec here, sorry. Looking it up. Here we go. What the hell? You spot at the edge of the cave an inscription written hey, in common. There's a common inscription. It, the, yeah, the inscription, though, is I wouldn't even say inscription. That's probably a bad word. It was actually almost looks like it's been done with some kind of white paint. And you can see a little symbol kind of like painted, but the symbol is drawn so horribly poor that you can't really make anything out. But you do see the words come no closer lest you catch the disfiguring plague that afflicts me, the Lord of Lance Rock. So, we sally forth. <laughs> <laughs> you heed it, no, yeah. We don't heed that warning. <laughs> We're adventurers. I have no idea what it said. I just walked back. Yes, I could read it again. Come no closer, lest you catch the disfiguring plague that afflicts me, the Lord of Lance Rock. And, uh, so it was, it was signed the, the, the Lord of Lance Rock. What's that? It was. It's. It looks like it was signed the Lord of Lance Rock. Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. And the bandits, of course, looking at uh, Sarah Kale, <clears throat> just minding its own business, charmed, uh, fully charmed. I'm gonna, my bandit, my good friend. It's like, I'm sure now that we are good friends, you would like to share with us your most valuable treasures. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to do that. But you, you can take all the stuff from you know the people I work with. It's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Sarah Kill there would love for you to receive where your most valuable treasures are. I really this <laughs> job kind of doesn't pay that well. The necromancer doesn't really give us a lot of money to protect his cave. But you True, know, but he sure says you... we're allowed to dump anyone we want and take their stuff. But... but I'm sure you've seen things up in the up in the keep. Up in the keep? Uh, no, no, no. This this is Lance Rock. I I I, I don't go in that cave. No, no, no. Did you read that warning? I'm not catching his diseases. You're crazy. Well, why were you on. running that way then? What? I, why, well, I'm not running. You were that. running that way. I was trying to get away from him, and he points over at Big Brax. <laughs> As well, you should. He's looking hungry. <laughs> He's polishing his new ballista. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, you're polishing it good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry about him. On Stad, though, he's hungry. He'll probably eat you. But uh, y'all, y'all gonna let me go, right? You better. <laughs> sure are. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Tell me more of this necromancer. Where is he? Oh, the necromancer, the Lord of Lance Rock. You're talking about there. He hired us, like I said, to 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 protect the cave. And of course, you know, there's. It's easy to go ahead and, you know, mug people around here. So we've made some coin here and there. You're welcome to all the coin that you can find, except mine. I worked hard. We'll this. take it off. Oh, no. We and don't. yours, yeah. dear sir. Well, you're not thinking about going in that Lance Rock, are you? Oh, no. We're going to send you in there with us. You're going to catch the disfiguring plague. Hmm. You might just be, you <laughs> Do you might think just I could get you any worse? You might just be the dumbest group of adventurers I've ever met if you're going in there. Have you not heard Foghorn Leghorn here? Oh, he dumb, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you are wise. You are wise. I can't understand I'll it. Now. Where it is <laughs> the necromancer? In the cave, of course. That's his home. We're protecting it. Have fun. Oh. 
I ain't going in there. He does. Yes, you are. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no, no, no. You can see all of a sudden he gets like really concerned, and you can see a saving throw coming along the way if you keep pushing him. I'm not going right. in there. I'm not catching I'm gonna that. I'm going to go plague. ahead and It'll search disfigure the, you. the bandits. And it disfigures you in all the wrong places, if you know what I mean. No. Just. <laughs> Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> a censored ball goes over. Over. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not dis- I'm not disfigured. I just know people that are. Like that necromancer hmm. being disfigured. Go in there and find out for yourself. I don't blame you. Uh, I'm going to send Tobin to start going down. Oh, into the cave? Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, then, everyone, I, I, I just looked at the time, too. Uh, the next phase of the adventure Ooh. is going to move on. Looks like you guys are getting ready to venture into the cave and catch a disfiguring plague. Oh, this is going to be yeah. awesome. I'm going to be searching <laughs> the bandits before we move on. I get, uh, yeah, okay, go. You're going to search? Okay, yeah, the campsite. Yeah. Um, there's a good pile of gold uh, that you're able to collect, some silver coins and stuff. And there's a few other uh, odds and ends. I, I, I'll give you the uh, treasure offline because I need to look it up, and I don't have it ready and available. But I, there is treasure, a small amounts of, uh, of goods Oh, and come on. That's riveting yes. TV will give us treasure. I'll, I'll give it to you. How about I give it to you at the very start of next Friday's adventure because then I'll have it yep. handy. All right, that sounds good. That gives me a chance to send good. you a new grilled cheese sandwich. That's right. Oh, yeah. Woo! Best grilled cheese sandwich I've ever eaten. And overnight some Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> All right. Well, that was our, that was our hour-long session. Uh, episode two comes to a close. Thank Thank you, everyone, for joining All us. Right. It was awesome. Thank and you. Calling out. I can see Chaotic Anarchy still here. Saverick's here. Woo! Love you guys. Yes. I yes. missed Thank you. you. <laughs> All right. And let's bring this to a close.